and the Africa Climate Business Forum finally kicked off in Nairobi, with speakers focusing on long-term benefits of sustainability and incentives that can inspire local authorities to action. IFC and the Central Bank of Kenya today opened the inaugural forum, which aims to provide concrete and innovative solutions to unlock the billions of dollars Africa needs for an inclusive transition to low carbon and resilient economic growth. More than 300 government and business leaders have converged in the capital to discuss how to meet Africa's climate finance gap. Now, the two-day event, which follows the inaugural Africa Climate Summit held in Nairobi in September, will also discuss opportunities the new climate economy presents for Africa's industrial growth and job market. Estimates show that about three quarters of climate investment needs must come from the private sector to complement public sector financing. The private sector can help in developing clean infrastructure, reducing energy and water use, improving the climate resilience of cities and communities, and supporting natural capital and ecosystems. Uh, a large part of the continent's economy is agricultural, and expanding that agricultural produc production in a low carbon and resilient way is vital. Number two, renewable energy. Over 40% of the continent still doesn't have access to affordable, sustainable energy, and massive investments are needed uh, in, in renewable energy and transmission of that uh, energy across the continent.